Meghan Markle and Prince Harry delighted royal fans today as they embarked on a visit to Birkenhead in Wirral, Merseyside. As part of their tour, the couple were offered a cup of coffee as they opened Community Supermarket and Cafe No. 7. Meghan politely declined the offer as she cradled her baby bump, saying, I can't at the moment, sadly, but I can have a minty or something. And the Duchess of Sussex was spot on in her determination to limit her caffeine intake, according to NHS Health Advice. But what is the official advice on coffee for pregnant women? The NHS says moans to be should have no more than 200 mg of caffeine per day during pregnancy. That is the equivalent of two mugs of instant coffee a day. The NHS website explains high levels of caffeine in pregnancy can result in babies having a low birth weight, which can increase the risk of health problems in later life. Read more, Prince Harry reveals he does this every day and Meghan Markle is a fan too much caffeine can also cause a miscarriage. Filter coffee measures slightly higher per mug at 140mg. What other drinks contain 200mg of caffeine? The 200mg caffeine limit is also the same as two mugs of tier 1 can of cola. Read more. Kate Middletown's snub, how Prince William was preoccupied with very pretty girl at party a single can of 250 milliliters of energy drink also has the same amount of caffeine. The NHS advises pregnant women to try drinking water, fruit juice, or decaffeinated tea or coffee when reaching for a cuppa. But if expectant mothers accidentally overdo it as a one-off, they need not take any action. The NHS advice states, if you occasionally exceed the recommended limit, don't worry. The risks are quite small. Read more, royal expert says Meghan Markle got to where she got by being a certain way when is Meghan's due date, Meghan has revealed she is expecting her first child in late April or early May. The Duchess shared the dates with well-wisher Kim Thompson, who later said, she said she is six months pregnant and due at the end of April, beginning of May. Kensington Palace announced the couple were expecting a baby in spring last October, 